Sagittarius. Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and welcome to my table. If you're new here, my name is Zachary. It's nice to meet you guys. If you're returning, welcome back, you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Pull up a chair. Pull up a chair, my friends. So Sagittarius, let's get into your message here. I did have a few things come through in meditation, channel messages, and then we'll get into the oracle cards and tarot cards. So the first thing that came through for you guys was all or nothing. I'm just giving all or nothing. Um, and then that's enough came after that. That is enough, <laughs> Sagittarius. That is absolutely enough. Um, as a Gemini, I very much understand all or nothing. You know, um, Geminis do tend to live on the extremes and that's where we feel comfortable. It doesn't necessarily mean that balance or coming into a more neutral space is a bad thing for anybody, though. It's just where we naturally like to operate. Sagittarius, you also are, are a little bit that way. Being ruled by Jupiter, you're all about movement. You want to do, got to do what you want and need to do, and you don't want interference on that. Anything that comes in your way, as far as that goes, is um, very quickly excised <laughs> from your experience. So I I'm getting that maybe there is a struggle right now of all or nothing. There's a discomfort that's going on surrounding a situation or life in general where maybe you're approaching things from extreme angles and you're being asked to bring it into a little bit more of a, a central state. So that's enough. Simplify the tendency is what came through on that too. So I get this like softening of the edges coming into a little bit more of a centered state. I'm, I'm feeling that it, it's requiring more energy to experience one of the extremes. Uh, and this may not even be con you may not be consciously aware that this is the case, but that's what's coming through for me for simplifying the tendency. So don't exert as much energy. Let it be whatever it's supposed to be is kind of what's coming through. Um, the next thing that came through was um, inoculation. So inoculation and just a <laughs> real quickly preface on that, I did have and I'll talk about my health thing here in a second. Um, but I mentioned this in Scorpio's video recently and um, I did have some people go off about COVID shot and this and that. This is 100% not the place for it, okay? This is not, I'm not here <laughs> for any sort of political chatter, um, health, religious, anything, you guys. This is an open forum for love and that's what this is. So um, if you feel the need to express your political opinion towards any of that, don't <laughs> don't do it um i will just delete you okay and it's it's just just don't okay that's not that is not why i'm here um find something else to talk about <laughs> okay <clears throat> and that's not to everybody but i just i'm really not in the mood i'm just not <laughs> so uh inoculation i don't feel like this is literally like a um a shot you know i don't feel like it's talking about this literally if that resonates with you in some way Please listen to your own messages that are coming through. You guys are powerful too and do receive messages on your own. It's more the like what what a um, an inoculation is intended to do. And that is to prime the pump essentially, to prepare the immune system to be able to fight something off so that it has a better chance of, well, fighting that off. Um, again, I don't take this in the literal sense, okay? Um, it feels like you're being asked to mentally prepare for something. I'm brought back to that study that was done at Harvard with the piano players, where some practiced physically, some did it mentally, and as they came together to perform, they found that they both had the same level of skill and practice. So in that way, we're finding that the brain doesn't really know anything different between visualization and physically doing something. With that balance coming through too, um, simplifying the tendency, I'm getting this message of mental practice is being requested here to put something into play to make a change somewhere, okay? Um, seraphim was the next thing that came through. Seraphim and Samsara actually came through at the same time. With Seraphim breaking that down a little bit further, what came through was the League and then the Watchers. So the energy that was surrounding that message for me was very interesting or is interesting. Um, seraphim being an angelic entity, right? 
um, with the league and the watchers, it makes me like we're always we're always guided and protected, right? This feeling that you are or message that you're always protected and guided. This is still true in the statement, but what's also coming through for me is a message saying um, you need to be careful. There's something you're being asked to watch out for. What's coming to mind for me is like you wouldn't get in a car and drive with your eyes closed because um, you know that you're protected and guided, right? I mean, you could do that if you want, but it's um, stupid. <laughs> uh, there are forces that are guiding and protecting us here, but let's not let's not act like we are immortal, right? That's kind of the message that's coming through here. We're not. We're certainly a carbon-based life form, and many things can go wrong. So the message that's coming through here right now is like your team is saying, we're here to protect you and help you, but also I'd like you to pay attention. <laughs> Keep your eyes open as you're going through that construction zone. You know what I mean? So with Samsara, the wheel of karma, okay? We're born into this cycle. We're all trying to escape this, this wheel. Um, I don't know I am. I don't know about you. Uh, the messages that came through with that too were melding balance between human and spiritual purpose. So again, this message of coming into balance, bringing this to the inoculation message and watching out, what I'm getting is that there are certain things that your spiritual team can't do for you. That's not the design of this life anyway, was to just like hop on this roller coaster ride and have somebody, you know, feed you and take care of you so you could just have the fun parts of life. You see what I'm saying? This is feeling like there's a need to come into some pragmatism right now. Um, and I'm not quite sure. We'll, we'll get a little bit further into what this is talking about, but that's what's coming through for me so far. Okay. Sagittarius. All right. So let's move forward here. Um, I'll touch briefly on what I said to Scorpio. I don't want to go on and on about it. I ended up being super emotional in the Scorpio reading, and I don't, I don't want to do that here right now either. I did make a post in my community tab talking in more detail about what's going on with some pictures so that you can see. Um, not that the intention is to be um visible with it but it is something that i can't I, I can't control whether it's visible or not um i do live with many different health things personally and just as a preface i'm not asking for advice here please on the opposite end of that hold your advice um it really just gets very frustrating to have somebody talk to you like you are unintelligent or haven't tried things okay just to throw that out there um but since february i've been dealing with a mystery illness where rashes are presenting on my body. We can't get it figured out specifically around my eyes. It's getting to a point where I can't hide it with makeup or editing anymore. And neither do I want to. It's severely affecting my mental health to feel like I have to do that. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is to request, please, everybody, if we could halt <laughs> any comment surrounding my appearance, my physical appearance, I do not do this for that in any way um and if it continues to come through right now that is something that i need in order to heal even those comments that seem in innocuous like you're fine or this or that those are actually probably worse um aside from being super dismissive again i'm not asking for a critique on my appearance and that affects my mental health i am a human being i have an ego as well and i'm navigating this just like everybody else please do me this kindness and and stop commenting on my physical appearance. If that doesn't stop, I'm going to have to um, go into a hands only view um, or tilt it so that my face isn't here. OK, you guys, or turn off comments. And those aren't things that I want to do. So please help me out here. Thank you for respecting that boundary. I know that uh, 909 on the timer and 911 help. OK, asking for help. This is what I'm doing here. I know that some of you are going to completely ignore what I just asked for boundary wise because <laughs> it happened in the Scorpio video. Um, please do not make comments on my physical appearance and I'm not asking for advice. I am always accepting help, support, love, healing from behind the scenes. So thank you for that. But everything else, please. Um, I will either just ignore your comment or completely ignore you. All right. If I receive those comments. So thank you. If you can't tell, um, it's not that I'm angry or anything like that, but life has been hard recently. And I would bet it's been hard for you too. So I am just fully stepping into a transparent mode of, God, I'm human, y'all. 
I am a fucking human being. <laughs> and I'm at a point where my ability to hold things uh, in my human experience is uh, difficult. So this is why I'm asking for help. Thank you for your respect in that. Your message, Sagittarius. We're going to start with archetypes here, and I'm feeling three. So for Sagittarius, um, additional messages, please. Hmm. The flame, to start here. Flame. I feel like... Um, did this come through for you guys? I think there's something about a flame for you recently. Anyway, I feel this like, um, like a pilot light, like your flame. Sagittarius, you are fire. You're so fire, right? One of my favorite signs, for sure. And, I mean, Gemini, Sagittarius, we get along super well, right? Or we can. Um, I'm kind of getting with the flame here. There's something uh, with the message of balance and that sort of thing. There's something that is, how do I put that? You're doing something. So back to this action. <laughs> You're doing something in hopes to reinvigorate this flame or to, to grow this flame. And it's actually blowing the flame out. Like, um, mm, like you're continuing to pile more wood on this fire, thinking, oh, well, fire burns wood, right? More fire, that means more fire. But the way that you're packing it on or how quickly you're doing that is actually choking the fire out. It's removing its ability to burn the oxygen <laughs> so that it can continue burning. Okay, interesting. Um... The other two that came out here, the orphan and the crone. Hmm. With the orphan, it does feel it does feel like um, there is this reach for something. I do feel like you guys are feeling uncomfortable. Like I said in the in the meditation channel messages, there's this discomfort, and that's what's driving this action, the extreme actions. Okay. It's an extreme action to throw all the wood on the pile. It's an extreme action to take it all away, right? There's something about um, a slower process or letting, letting things bloom. There's that little flower there. It will bloom in its own timing. The orphan is an archetype of, of feeling lack, like feeling abandoned, right? left alone. Maybe you're feeling that way right now. Maybe that's what you're trying to fix as far as feeling, getting um, getting to a place where you feel comfortable, accepted, acceptable. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you're, maybe you're um, experiencing things of a visual nature too that you're struggling with. I don't know. And it's not just visual, you guys. Like, not that I need to explain it. It's extremely painful. Like I said, you can check out the, the post. Um, it's not just about the way that I look, but again, I am also human and um, highly visible here. So uh, maybe you're struggling with something like that too. With the crone coming out here, that, that kind of makes me feel like, yeah, maybe you are. Being 13, this is death as well. The crone, maiden, mother crone archetype. Um, the crone archetype is... Once we get to this point, if we do, not everyone does, the crone doesn't give a shit. She truly doesn't give a shit. And this doesn't have to just be a she. It's genderless for sure. The crone, um, the book describes her as an individual who consumes both beauty and ugliness with the same mouth. There is no bias. The crone has lived a life, a full life, to a point where they realize now, uh, not that it's not, you know, that it's not about looks or that it's not not about looks. Um, she sees beyond all of it, right? This crow, being the symbol of the crone as well, has the sight of the shaman. So it's a very spiritual, etheric energy and card. It feels like this is the place where you're being asked to come more into balance. Maybe there is something that you're being requested to have a little bit more or a lot of bit more uh, radical acceptance towards. I know personally, well, that's been practicing that a lot for myself, right? When things are out of our control, 
it either tanks our mental health or physical health, or we have to get to a point where we need to just accept what is in order to move through, right? Right. Maybe you're also in a place where you do need to establish a boundary like I just did there too. In getting to this place of radical acceptance, it doesn't mean that we can't also still advocate for ourselves, right? Right. Okay. So let's uh, pull a wild unknown animal spirit card here for you guys, and then we'll get into the tarot. Additional messages for Sagittarius, please. Nope. Yeah, something needs to be spoken. Okay. Um, black egg is what comes through here. Black egg is the throat chakra. So I'm feeling like, um, that's a, I mean, exactly, exactly the message that's come through here. I'm being drawn to the orphan here too. It's, there's this forcing of blooming something, whether this is you, a component of your life, new job, moving, relationship. Maybe you are struggling with something with your health, mental or physical, visible or not, right? Um, what I'm getting is, it's interesting with the crone too, and like I said, consuming both with the same mouth. Um, there's something that's not being released here though. This could be a message that needs to be spoken to yourself. It could be something that, you know, boundary just for yourself could be a boundary for somebody else. As an example, if you are struggling with something health-wise or um, whatever, communicating with those you're in relationships with, live with, work with, whatever, what your needs are is always in style. Speak and open up your mind. It's something you should do all the time. Um, it's a Jack Garrett song. I'm blinking on the title right now. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the tarot. Um, which deck did you want to do this one here? So we'll start with the Light Seers Tarot here, and then I do have a new a new deck I want to utilize. So Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius? Additional messages, please. Please, please, please. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I am physically coming down with something. If they are, you know, energy symptoms moving through. Could be a little bit, a little calm A, a little calm B. Um, but I. As the day's been going on here, I've just been starting to feel a little bit crappy. So sorry, my head feels a little funny, but um, I really wanted to get this message out to you guys. So anywho, what do we have for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? Huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. If you're interested in becoming a member yourself, there is a join button right next to the subscribe under this video. I have three tiers available right now. Uh, speaking of tiers, <laughs> Nine of Swords fell out here. So anxiety, insomnia, a circuitous nightmare. Okay. Um, personal readings are open and available too. If you do want help with something a little bit more specific to yourself, you can check out my website in the description of the video. So your hope, hopes and dreams here. You have the world in reverse. So being in reverse here, the <laughs> tower underneath it. Cool, 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 cool. There is something that you're really wanting to be done. And this something is, like I said in the beginning, this is uncomfortable. This is causing discomfort. Similarly, you know, like I said, I am at a point where it's not as much a visual thing. It hurts. It's extremely painful. Maybe you have something like that too that isn't visible to somebody, but it hurts. And it's affecting you to a degree where it cannot continue going in that direction. Something's got to give right? This tower has to come down. You're wanting that to be done. Being uh, in reverse here, the way I take that is that you're missing, like you're missing your exit. And back to this point of avoiding extremes is what's coming through. This finality is not available to you yet because there's something that you're being asked to bring into balance, closer to balance or less away from an extreme. Okay. Um, Crow Tarot, we'll move into for your second deck. What do we have for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? At this time. And this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. Y'all are intelligent. Use your head, heart, and intuition to figure out which of these messages are for you, or if they even are. And if they're not, go ahead and leave it behind. 
not with a comment, but you know, just leave it behind. <laughs> okay. If you can't tell, like my my fuck it bucket's broken, you guys. <laughs> I think if there's any sign that maybe can appreciate that, that's you. Or uh, my sister sign, right? I'm just not uh I'm just not in a place for any bullshit, okay? <laughs> I love you guys so so much, and I love myself too. And I'm feeling how I'm feeling, okay? So thanks for being with me here on this journey. <laughs> Sagittarius. This one here. Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom. So this is your fear aversion. Um, this is going to be work. And ten of ten of wands there at the bottom. So releasing something here too. It feels like mm, maybe you're aware. Maybe you are aware of what needs to be released or changed to help bring you away from those extremes. Maybe you're not. I feel like everybody's a little bit different place here, but you're getting to a point where something is feeling like um, you're getting close to burnout here. The fear aversion here is burning out, losing your passion, working too hard. You're feeling like something is like, why is this so hard? This, this shouldn't be this hard. There are things that are hard, of course, um, and there are things that we make harder for ourselves and others make harder for us too. So it's, it's feeling like there is an avoidance towards paying attention to that which is burning you out. Okay, let's get into your main message a little bit further here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> General energy to start, you have two of swords. So I need to make a decision. You're at a crossroads. Yep, yep, you're at a crossroads. Being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Um... Again, not to get so much into it's just personally what I'm going through right now. Uh, the choice for me being between a rock and a hard place, I'm at a point where the message that's coming through is surrender, like just full on surrender. Um, radical acceptance, like I said, this doesn't mean that we stop taking care of ourselves or uh, attempting, you know, to pursue healing or anything like that. What I'm getting is that there are strings. That's <laughs> so funny. I was just seeing strings in my head. There are strings here. Like the crows are, the more that you're flailing and trying to take care of this situation here, the more that the situation is taking care of you, is tying you up in these strings. So um, maybe you do feel compelled to watch the Scorpio reading. I liked the analogy that came through there with the spotlight and um, chasing the spotlight. And this whatever the spotlight is, your goal. Healing. The spotlight is actually chasing you, but in your pursuit of chasing that, you're not realizing that what you desire, what you're looking for, the healing you're looking for is trying to come to you. So for you guys as well, it feels like the decision needs to be made to cool it, to just chill for a second. Okay. And I, I get it. That is like the last thing that I want to do. I truly, <laughs> oh, Sit, sit around and wait to wait for healing. Oh, cool. <laughs> like gag me with a spoon, right? Uh, but it seems like this is what's being requested of you guys too. A little bit more divine feminine action rather than divine masculine action. Six of swords comes through here to clarify this. So a transition. I'd like to see this come through here too. I feel like this is a little bit of um, hope, a little sparkle of hope for you guys. You will get through this. Healing is happening. Healing is not only possible, but it's happening. You are either on the boat here, taking the ride, the transition, or you're stuck there at the dock because you're not willing to pay the toll, which is some form of baggage. Something needs to be left behind before making this transition. What needs to be left behind? I'm, I'm getting the message of control, you guys. Surrender seems to be a big one coming through right now. Any other advice here, please, for Sagittarius? Energy activation. Connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. And that would be a divine feminine activity. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's generally, you know, energetically what's going on right now. I don't claim to be a master astrologer or anything. I just I go with my team, you know, I get the messages that come through. It feels like there is some serious shit 
going on right now. And obviously, you know, looking around us, there's some serious shit going on. It feels like energetically, there is some serious stuff going on to the point where um, it is affecting us physically. Could this be a completely energetic thing that's going on with me? Yeah, possibly. Could it be purely physical? Yeah, totally. Does anybody know right now? No. <laughs> the only thing I know, message I'm being told, is to be still. And it feels like this is a message that's coming through for others as well. I feel like that's because things are set in motion. Maybe whatever it is that you are experiencing, the reason you're being asked to come back from extremes is because it's only making it worse. This was only meant to be a temporary thing. Um, but by reaching out for everything, including some obscure cures, you guys, and just because things are natural does not mean that it's <laughs> the way to go either. <clears throat> I had somebody tell me to put turpentine on my skin. <clears throat> That's a no. That's a no for me. Thank you guys so much. Um, I don't care whose skin that healed. <laughs> That's a no for me. Um, that's kind of what I mean. So yeah, you know, you skin, you cleared up your rash, but now I don't know, you have necrotizing fasciitis. That's, that's kind of what I mean. We're being asked to be still here so that a solution can catch up to us. All right. So good stuff for you guys at this time. Ten of pentacles in reverse comes through. I feel like there's a really strong push to connect with your community right now. Healing through connection in your community. Being in reverse here, it feels like there. It feels like there's a refusal, a bit of a refusal to um, maybe to let healing find you. Like sometimes we we know something's good for us, and so we intentionally or otherwise avoid that at all costs, right? Why do we do this? I don't know. I don't know. To be human is such a funny thing, but it feels like this is being um, highlighted right now as your as your good stuff. There's a large amount of blessing that comes in, maybe even physical connection is what I'm getting here. Hugs, cuddles, maybe sex, you know, depends on where you're at. It feels like there's healing available through physical connection. Interesting. And I wouldn't always recommend that for sure, but that's, that's what's coming through. <laughs> I I'm going to say that's that's what's up. Ten of Pentacles comes through to clarify this. <laughs> uh, I love it when that happens. Um, so having these in different directions here too, coming full circle is something that's that's coming through. When the same card comes around, I take that as validation. That's exactly what we're talking about. More hugs. Asking for more hugs. Cuddles. Hire a cuddler if you need, <laughs> if they have a cuddler in your area. I know that's a job now. Um, yeah, interesting. What I tend to think about with physical connection is, um, what is that? Oh, my poor brain. Oxytocin, oxytocin release. Um, that is not only healing, but like we require it. That's not exactly what I'm... It's more like take the chance in, in making a physical connection with somebody. And I'm mostly not talking about sex, okay, guys? But I'm also not saying that that's not it either. Um, if that's a way for you to find healing, this is not with somebody random is what I'm getting, okay? Um, something about energy, like I'm seeing the Two of Cups in the... Um, Lightseer's Tarot here, where the energy from the divine comes through the connection of the two to fill both vessels. You may be physically starved right now. And I don't just mean sex, like I said, okay? All right, let's, uh, last piece of advice here on this, then we'll move forward. Confession, pursuing, uh, releasing a secret, pursuing virtue through honesty. Interesting. This could be um, the honesty, what needs to be released confession-wise, is that you do need physical connection. Maybe um, maybe you've gone into stoicism or lone wolf status. This is very much saying connect with the community, you guys. 
and there's a note of, of physical to it also. Being that there are 20 pentacles here too, just to throw that out there, this is ultimate material and spiritual abundance. The keys to the kingdom. Thank you. Oh my God, that's what I was looking for. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so not necessarily, I'm going to, could be physical connection for some of you. This is, let me explain. Um, so the Kabbalah tree here. The first point here in entering the kingdom the rest of the experience, which are primarily spiritual, is through physical connection. <laughs> okay, that's that's where I'm coming from on that. Keys to the kingdom. That's what was trying to come through. Your kingdom here, hmm? access spiritually, spiritual abundance, material abundance, building and leaving a legacy. Lean on me is coming through. It seems so simple to lean on somebody to ask for support, to ask for a hug, maybe to even ask for a cuddle. My God, how weird, right? You need this right now. Keys to your kingdom, okay? And it's being supported too, to take advantage of that. So what you don't see in the dark or don't see coming what is in the dark right now, Knight of Wands in reverse. So the way that I take this is, um, like there is an indignation or refusal to try something again to experience um, something creatively, to be spontaneous, to have a good connection to your sacral and solar plexus chakras here. It feels like, uh, like you're not an NPC, right? You're not a non-playable character in your own story. That's kind of what this feels like. You've relegated yourself to the corner <laughs> where all the broken pieces go so that everybody else that's not broken can can have a good time. And that's horseshit, right? <laughs> what you don't see is that that is horseshit, that maybe there is a program that's running that's telling you that. If that's the case, um, it's not, a, I don't feel that it's about fighting it. Again, back to the extremes here. I'm, I'm brought back to physical connection, even just being in the presence of those that love you. Don't give up on yourself. Other people have not given up on you too, okay? Or at all. I haven't given up on you, <laughs> Sagittarius. Not yet. So King of Swords comes through to clarify this. It feels like um, you are in a, you're being asked I don't know where to put that spirit. Forced. Okay. <laughs> this is how it is, yo. Sorry. Um, you are placed in a position right now, not like full on hanged man action where there's a full pause. You're being asked to see something differently. Um, but you are, there's a mirror that's being held up to you, a magnified mirror to see this component of your life right now. King of Swords. They are a master of discernment, logic, intellect, great at solving problems, the truth, honesty. There's somebody who is sitting, so this crow is sitting here in their throne. They're paying attention to all information that's coming to them from all angles. It's not until they receive this information that they make a decision to act. It feels like there's something you're being shown, this mirror, and you're being asked to wait to make a decision until you can see more clearly. It's difficult to see clearly right now if you're someone who's participating in extremes. So this makes sense why the message is coming through this balance of human experience and spiritual experience with the two Ten of Pentacles too. <laughs> I'm hearing it. That's weird. Deliciously in the middle. You're right in the middle of your own story. Don't forget that, okay? Nobody else can, can live this story out except for you. All right, um, obstacle, difficulty. My brain is, I, I feel like I'm getting sick, yo. Oh, man. We gonna finish this up, though. Um, the Fool in reverse. So this is your obstacle difficulty at this time. Yeah, totally. Having faith, trusting that it's okay to, to take that leap, to take that trust fall, to start a new journey. I think for some of you, there is, especially being in reverse, there's a, a difficulty in separating from this label of fool. 
this isn't for everybody, but um, I don't think that maybe you're even aware that you're doing that or saying that to yourself. It's kind of more of a sub subconscious program or a response to years worth of um, feeling disappointed or regret in yourself or others. Well, I must just be a fool. Maybe I am just a, the NPC. <laughs> If this is the way my life's turning out, no, 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 no. That's why you don't, what you don't see here is the need to stay still so that you can see this clearly. It's time to start a new journey. <laughs> it's time to start a new journey, but there's, there's certainly fear here. You're trying to take every other path except for the one that you're being asked to take <laughs> by you, by your own soul. So King of Cups comes through here to clarify your difficulty yeah, finding balance here in the storm, finding compassion for yourself. It does feel like for for some of you or a lot of you here, it's not even maybe a specific event that's happened where you could be beating yourself up over something for some of you, sure. It feels more like a general disappointment with where you are in life right now versus maybe where you thought you would be or what you wanted from your life. And that is kicking up this dust. It's kicking up those strings you're being asked to find that center be that cool cucumber in the in the storm um to master the, the the notion of devotion to master the motion of your emotion ocean as i say this is the balance it's emotional balance here you guys some compassion it doesn't even feel extreme like you need to whoosh, right back to center either there's some compassion that's needed for your experience or a lot. Last piece of advice here for Sagittarius, please. Recognition, admiration for your hard work is coming. Um, the What's coming through is, what is that song? It's a very sad song. Um, the Great Escape by Pink. There's a, there's a line in there, it's, a, it's about, um, um suicide it's a it's a sad song so trigger warning on that you guys if you don't go watch that if that's an issue okay um but there's something about like you you put yourself in this corner like um you know taking yourself out of this fight i'm totally forgetting the actual words but like it's just you're just not participating anymore that's kind of what i'm i'm getting with this experience here there's something in your experience where you've pulled yourself away from participating in a healthy way because you f feel like it's just been failing or there's no point. Recognition for your hard work is coming. Readdressing that or addressing that for the first time, possibly for some of you. This helps put you in the place or on that path you were originally looking to take place in or something even better. Blowing your expectations out of the water there. Compassion is really what's coming through strong. So I'm going to pull a Blue Angel Oracle card here, and then I'm going to move into the extended, you guys. In the extended, I do look at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you guys based on your thoughts and emotions. Okay, Spirit, what do we have here for Sagittarius? Last, last message here. And thanks for, I mean, especially if you've <laughs> made it this far. Thanks for letting me be spicy, you guys. Um, it's so interesting to me, depending on the sign that I'm reading, I really do embody that energy. Um, it was a Scorpio. Shit, I was, I was very, very emotional. Not that I don't still feel emotional about it, but it was kind of, seemed out of place for me. And this kind of fire, too. I don't have fire in my chart. So um, thanks. Thanks for letting me borrow that. Sagittarius, I appreciate that. Whoa. <laughs> I know you saw that. I know you saw that. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to replicate that. Grace and gratitude. This is about release, you guys. I'm going to read this from the book. <laughs> I just flew out. Grace and gratitude. Release frustration and anger and express the love and light that you truly are. You are a beautiful soul, a beautiful friend, loved by so many. Why cloud this love? You are not an NPC, okay? You are not the side character in your own story. Let the real you shine through. Be grateful for your life and the many blessings you receive each day. 
Gratitude will lead you to peace and peace will lead you to abundance and joy. Focus on the good in your life and everything else will fall into place. Beyond thought, there is a knowing that embraces all knowledge, a knowing that does not divide, <laughs> there's that division, nor keep one truth from another. Without, within this knowing, you will find all that you thought was missing. Within this knowing, you will rediscover your beautiful soul. So, um, actually, I'm read this too. I breathe out all my frustration and anger and breathe in the light and love of my soul. In peace, there's wisdom. I am peace. I am wisdom. All is well. Um, this portion here of where it's saying to focus on the blessings and the good things in your life and more of that will, will come through. Yes, absolutely. And with what I'm saying here and finding this balance or peace, additionally, to throw that in there for someone, for some of you here, what I'm getting is um, if we continue to only focus on the good things that are in our life, and completely ignore anything else, that is not what that's talking about. That is not actually bringing more good things into your life because what we resist persists. What you're avoiding is actually what you're focusing on because this system that we are experiencing right now will not allow anything to go under the radar, period. <laughs> so not saying to dwell on anything that's hard or difficult, but as a reminder, if you're not validating or recognizing that it's even there, at least for a moment, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Validate yourself and then focus on the good that's in your life. Okay. I love you, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. And I hope that this is helpful. I'm going to move into the extended. Like I said, links are in the description of the video. I do have them for sale individually. And on the third tier of membership, you can have access to all of them. My link to my website is in the description too. If you want to check out the, um, for, for private readings, I'd love to help you guys there. If this reading did resonate with you, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, hit that notification bell. They're all great ways to support me in the growth of this channel. And I truly appreciate it. You guys, you are the reason why I do this as you heard me say <laughs> in the beginning. Okay. Um, if this reading did resonate with you and you do feel called to tip or donate, I do have my cash app and PayPal links in the description. It's not mandatory, but to those who do support the channel in that way, thank you, thank you, thank you. It goes a long way. And again, I could not do this without you guys. Okay, please take care of yourselves. I will see you all very soon. Bye. <laughs>